Good morning, my students. Grade six, Tahrir Private School. Today you are going to answer booklet unit two, time for English. Open your booklet. Page nine, evaluation sheet on unit two. Number one, listen to your teacher and circle. One, spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs. So the answer is letter A. Number two. It's seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. Letter B. Number three. What's today's special? Spaghetti. Letter B. How much coffee did you have? How much coffee did you have? I have two cups. A. This is exercise one. Exercise two, listen to your teacher and complete. Between tourist and operator, how much space it costs to get in? So how much does it cost? Operator, two pounds for the space and 20 pounds for foreigners. So two pounds for the Egyptians. And 20 pounds for foreigners. Does that include the mommy rooms? No, it doesn't. Thank you for your help. So, you're here, you have to add why. You are welcome, have a nice day. This is exercise two. Exercise three. Read and circle the old word and replace it with another correct one. Steak, meat, kebab, computer. The wrong one is kebab. You have to write any food like uh, chicken. This, that, are those. R is wrong. And you have to write these. My, his, her, what? What? Like yours. Chicken, burger, juice, sandwich. Juice. Write any food, like fish. Juice, milk, coffee, bread, bread, and write any drink like, like tea. This is exercise three. Exercise four, read and choose the correct answer. One, I think space, I'll have a steak. I think so. I think so. Next page. Number two, I will have a steak. Number three, she space lemonade after lunch drinks. Four, we had chicken soup yesterday. Five, the center of the city is called letter D downtown. Six, they space very happy. They are. Seven, she space have coffee. She doesn't have coffee. Eight. We make sandwiches by bread. This exercise four. Let's go to exercise number five. Read the passage and answer the questions. Grandpa Alice is a new Italian restaurant in downtown Sunnyville. It opened on May 5th. Who is Grandpa Ali? Is he the owner? No. The real Grandpa Ali is the owner's grandfather and the chef at the restaurant. Last Saturday, Laila Abdo and her friends Diana Smith had lunch at Grandpa Ali's. The pizza is the best pizza in town. Laila said, Diana, I'm going to bring my children here. Kids under five eat free. Grandpa Alice is clean and the prices are good. The address is 12 Vine Street. They are open daily from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. They serve lunch and dinner. The questions are, next page 11. Layla Abdo and her friends Diana Smith had, let's go back, had lunch. I'm going to bring my children here. Kids under five eat free. Kids under five eat free. Where is Grandpa Ali? Where is Grandpa Ali? If you look at the passage, this line, 12 Bine Street, 12 Bine Street, this is number three, 12 Bine Street, 
Number four, what do they serve at the restaurant? What do they serve at the restaurant? Let's go to back to the passage. The last line, they serve lunch and dinner. This is number four. Let's go to exercise six. Look at the picture and write a paragraph of four senses. We have a picture, a family in a restaurant, and I have to write four senses or five. Leave a distance and write, I went to the restaurant. Yesterday, I went with my family. We went by car. I had a slice of turkey. My dad had a bowl of chicken soup. Mom had a piece of apple pie. The food was delicious. This is exercise number six. Let's go to exercise number seven, page 12. Exercise number seven, rearrange the following. Have, will, I, steak. So the answer, I will have a steak. Number two, we lemonade drank yesterday. We drank lemonade yesterday three much how soup have did she how much soup did he have four many how of tea cups he did he or have how many cups of tea did he have this exercise number seven let's go to number eight punctuate the following grandpa alice pizza is a paste pizza so the and uh, the wrong one is a ali and apostrophe s a ali and apostrophe s number two what is mona doing w what and the question mark now we have finished answering unit two, time for English. I correct it tomorrow, so be ready, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.